welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, we are prepping for our safe at home New Year's Eve party and decluttering for the new year. I am so excited to share with you guys today, but we have a lot to cover. So sit back and enjoy the vibes or work along with me as I freshen up our home for the next few minutes. I'm going to share with you all our New Year's grocery haul. You guys, there are three, yes, three food spreads in this video, starting with our work from home holiday luncheon. <laughs> Since neither of us had company parties to attend this year for obvious reasons, it was just AJ and I, but I couldn't be happier to celebrate and bring in the New Year just us two, so I went all out. I went to Trader Joe's the night before and picked up our wine and champagne as well as crackers and appetizers for our charcuterie board. evening I started to take down and put away all the Christmas decor. It was sad to see it go but over the next few weeks our furniture will be arriving so I wanted everything put away to make room for putting all our furniture together, you know, all the boxes and pieces and we're going to need some room and space to do that so I had to put everything away and also last year I did a New Year's Eve like clean with me and waking up on New Year's Day with everything you know, clean and open space was really nice and refreshing. Now I've poured myself a glass of wine and ran my bath to get ready for the night.
guys so i just poured my second cup of coffee breakfast was really cute and sweet so i'm just going to now start going through my clothes um that's one big new year's project i want to do in 2021 is to like completely overhaul my wardrobe so not just go through and get rid of things but like I want to rebuild my wardrobe from scratch and which I'm going to take my time doing. I'm not going to spend a lot of money doing this. I just want to get rid of what I'm not wearing, like really get rid of my, what I'm not wearing. Um, I'll let you guys know if I do a Poshmark sale and I do have an account, um, just haven't sold on anything on there in a while. So I'll let you guys know, but otherwise I'll definitely be donating a lot of things, but just really find pieces that I love that I'm going to be wearing every day and things that work cohesively together. Um, I'll insert some pictures. I was looking on Pinterest for some inspiration. So that is the project I'm going to start now. It's hard to imagine that anyone so beautiful could ever be lonely. I'm almost out the door and... Hey! Mr. Boo! Okay, so I'm gonna sit on the floor for a second and tell you guys... Hold on. Okay, the TV was kind of loud. It's kind of a little bit quieter. Quieter. So I just found these socks and I hope I can tell this story without tearing up, but <laughs> um, I was going through my sock drawer and I found these socks and these are a pair of socks that I wore when I was sick. I was in the hospital, um, I think I was about 11, yeah, I was 11 years old and I had this rare form of skin cancer, melanoma, and I had to have surgery. And so after my surgery, I was given these, or I don't remember if it was before or after <laughs> morphine, but um, I was, I just know that, know that I was given these socks and they brought me so much comfort. I think I wore them for like a week, weeks after, like as I was healing. Um, and I just, kept and held on to these socks all these years and I haven't worn them probably since around that age like I don't remember wearing them in high school ever like but I've always kept them I've never decided to throw them away and today when I looked at them and I asked myself why I still had these um not like in a condescending way or anything like that I'm just like these are it was almost like not even a thought like I've always had these socks I'm whatever I just keep them <laughs> and then I but I was like wait like why do I really I decided to pause and ask myself like why do I want to hold on to these and do they still bring me comfort um because they're not a bad reminder of what happened like that was it's my testimony I'm very blessed and happy that I survived and I, I'm healthy and all the things right um when I look at these I'm not traumatized honestly I kept them because they brought me comfort um during that time but I'm not sick anymore and I don't gravitate to put these on because I don't know I just but that's probably me telling myself like you wouldn't put these on today so why are you still holding on to them um they're not inherently bad or they don't like I said they don't traumatize me but I have on <laughs> my comfy socks I have on the socks that bring me comfort for my life right now and so it just made me think like even just cleaning out like your closet, like it just seems like such a random, not random, but like just the thing that you do, but getting rid of things, <laughs> like even if they're just material things, especially things that have history and a story behind them, they're like parts of you. So I'm letting these go today. It's not like a sad thing, but it's just like this no longer, this served its purpose in your life and it no longer does. 
and it's okay to let this go and uh, and it's okay that, that's all I have to say <laughs> it's also the first day of my period uh, but um yeah so letting these go and enjoying a life that you know that I have now and these socks that bring me joy and comfort Whew, almost got to that point <laughs> but um yeah figured I'd stop and share that with you today because I know someone may need to hear that that like it's okay to let things go even if they're not like bad for you <laughs> these are you know they're just socks right but I can let these go it's okay all right and like any normal girl there were three items I just couldn't part with that I can't fit right now but hope to in the near future because that's my business <laughs> but just those three items and my summer shorts are in this thing day after New Year's it is the January 2nd so I want to share one more thing in this vlog with you guys and that is on what was that I think it was the day before New Year's Eve um Wednesday last Wednesday I was in TJ Maxx and I was just buying things to get ready for New Year's and I was not expecting to expecting to find this in there it's just one of those things that I stumbled upon, but I really have been wanting one of these for a long time. And my birthday is this coming Wednesday actually. And I was just like, get it, buy it, it's yours. Happy birthday to me. And that is this beauty fridge. I'm so excited you guys. And I got a really good deal on it. I was going to spend like over a hundred dollars on one and ended up finding this for $39.99. So not only something I've been wanting for a long time, but a great, great deal. You'll see more of this in some upcoming videos, but I just wanna let you guys know that I got this and I got it recently and there were a few there. So, you know, check out your nearest TJ Maxx and see if they have it there. So, um, and the funny thing too, is that I just saw a girl do this um, she had this in her gift guide uh they were selling it i think on bed bath and beyond for like i don't know how much but um this one was set to compare at 50 dollars. like i think it was more than that so this is a steal i can't wait to open it up i've got some of my skincare in here um that i've taken out of the fridge like i'm so happy that i can separate my skincare from the refrigerator finally and then if you haven't seen my most recent video i did an unboxing with the um my yoni day spa products so i'm going to be adding the glaze and the oil in my fridge oh, i'm so 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 excited about this guys so um yeah let me get this open i'll show a couple clips i think it probably is gonna have to cool down before i actually use it but anywho more, oh, I, oh this is the um la mer so i got the little la mer sample when i picked up my drum alone perfume um that was like late fall i think i want to say but anyway let me get this box open and show you guys what it looks like with stickers if you want to you know I won't be using any stickers but <laughs> they are pretty stickers though I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't I don't know. um okay read the instructions where's the power cord 
I love the size of it. Like, it's perfect size, small. And I definitely wanted a wanted a white fridge. Oh, so there's the power cord. Perfect. That doesn't fit there. Is this adjustable? No. So I'll have to put it in like that or whatever. And it has this side, so you could put your mask. No, it doesn't really fit well. We'll figure it out, but super, super cute. Okay, so after plugging in the unit, make sure the switch on the back is set to the off position to operate. Set the power switch on and a green light will turn on to indicate. So this is off. Okay, it's plugged in. And we're on, see, it's a little bit of a buzz, but very, very quiet. So, fingers crossed that I love it. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a little while to get cold, so. I'm gonna play around with how I wanna organize all this. Even if I'm gonna keep it in this bathroom or not, I'm not quite sure yet. So this is the fridge. I think it's absolutely adorable. Hold on, I can't really open it with my, there we go. Absolutely adorable. So cute, so cute. So you guys, I'll give you guys some updates on how this is working for me in some future videos. Another thing, since cleaning out the closet yesterday, I did kind of, oops, sorry, I'm shaking. I did kind of get a little dressed up today. Like this is my everyday little, I think I was wearing some yesterday's vlog too, or yesterday's portion of the vlog, but just threw on my cute little sweatpants and a graphic tee, my jewelry, did a little makeup today. Like I felt like getting dressed and Eddie was like, where are you going? <laughs> He's, <laughs> where are you going? I'm like, no, we're just, you know, when you clean up your closet, you want to start wearing your stuff. So I did a really good job on that yesterday. It feels so good. So I just need to go through the pile that I'm donating slash slash selling and figure out um, what I'm going to do there. So there's a big, one big pile in the living room, but everything else is put back. I even have one drawer in my dresser that's empty, like completely empty. So I did really, really good. I'm really proud of myself. So that's it for today's vlog you guys i hope you all enjoyed it happy happy new year god bless all of you wishing you all the best this year hope blessings love joy that's a good health good health abundance all of the things you guys i love you all so 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 much have a blessed and happy new year and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video